Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh. Look at that. The Windows 8 Consumer Preview is available for download. You probably already knew that. Uh, at least 99% of our audience I know uh, probably have downloaded and have installed it and are probably running and watching this live stream on the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. This means if you're watching this video, you can download an advanced copy of Windows 8. Now keep in mind, it's not been fully released. It's still kind of beta. It's not fully baked. So I wouldn't go and try to install it as your primary desktop operating system. If you have a spare PC, throw it on that. Give it a whirl. What do you guys think? I haven't even had time. I've been so busy today. I haven't even had time to take a look at it. It's pretty cool. Download the ISO instead of the 5 megabyte file. Oh, there's a suggestion from a Nomi PC509. We have further instructions for you before you even set things up. Where you want to start is with the article we've got on LockerDome.com, aptly titled, How to Download and Install Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Oh, I downloaded it. I'm fine. No, look at the installation directions. We've done this, okay? We will help make sure that when you try this preview to give Microsoft feedback on their next generation version of Windows, that you do it the right way. Uh, let's see here. Uh, according to, now I'm just going to read some comments, both from the Nomi's chat room back here. Um, oh, Micaiah's taking the risk. Wow, he's going whole hog there. I downloaded the dev version for it to crash. That's hours wasted. Dev version, old news. Go with the consumer preview. Uh, HTF, it is really slick. I'm, I am kind of excited about taking a look, to tell you the truth, because it's, it's different than what I think we've seen with Windows to this date. Uh, Psy, rebooting to re-enable hardware virtualization. Well, that's an important thing to do on your PC if you plan on doing virtualization at all, like, you know, running through virtual machines, which we've done videos about before, so I won't push you on that. VM it. Uh, that's what Dan, the man, 6161 suggests. Win8 is sick fast, says the creative Kai there on YouTube. Uh, not really much uh, uh, else coming in in terms of Windows 8 right now, other than... From SRLMJ23 on YouTube, I'm more savvy in Windows because I got my Mac for Christmas, and I have to say, Windows 8 is really awkward. I don't like the controls. Download the ISO file. Couple suggestions. Doesn't like the controls there. A PC509 did not like or does not like XP. He misses his command interface. That's funny. Uh, so, uh, Crazy Tika loves Windows 8. I don't like Windows 8. I miss my start menu. Nicholas, well, we're going to dive into that, actually, in, a, in, a, in another video here today that you can tune in for uh, if, after you watch this particular segment if you're not watching the full live TLDR episode. See, you can watch, I think there's an annotation here somewhere that says watch the full live episode. Um, you know, the thing about uh, uh, these changes is Microsoft's listening. Download Starter Edition right now, this this copy that they're giving you, the consumer preview, and I'm sorry, Starter Edition's a completely different version that doesn't exist yet for Windows 8, uh, the consumer preview, and give them feedback, what you like, and more importantly, what you don't like. So here's a chance, guys. Uh, weigh in. Let me know in a comment in the in the article, please, or if you have any tips for Windows 8, certainly. Things we want to watch out for before anybody goes and installs it, you can, of course, leave the comment here of what you think about Windows 8 here on, on the YouTube video itself. Your comments will more than likely get read on the blog post because a lot of people comment on our videos, which is cool, but if you want the comment to stand out, that's why we recommend doing it in conjunction with the LockerGnome.com blog post. So your thoughts on Windows 8? I haven't tried it yet, so I don't have any thoughts yet. I've got a completely open mind, and I am kind of excited about it. What about you?